Danielle, receive this ring. Shane, receive this ring. And As a sign, sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Barbara, I want to thank you for helping raise and guide our daughter to grow into the magnificent woman that you are today. And then I started thinking about the day for Danielle. What would her wedding be like? Who would she marry? What would he look like? And then it hit me, how much is this going to cost me? <laughs> I know the typical best man speech is supposed to welcome you to the family, but the truth is that you seamlessly became part of our family long before today. You're absolutely glowing. And Shane, I've never seen a day that you haven't been smiling. Sisters, we love to bicker and push each other. But I know we push because we want the absolute best for each other. And Danielle, I couldn't be happier to see you with Shane by your side as your husband, an official part of our family. In our lives, there are many mysteries that are beyond our control. And today, Shane and Danielle enter into one of those mysteries, the mystery of one flesh. Let us pray to the Lord for his bride and groom who we come to the altar as they begin their married life, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, they may always be bound together by love for one another. Uh, and in terms of Shane's youthful personality, I'd say that besides when he was on a full-blown sugar high, it wasn't too much different from how people know him today. He was always happy, charming, and easy to make friends with, much like he is now. And since Shane's entered adulthood, he's only continued to project an image of success. He's always had a good job, made and retained great friends, developed an entrepreneurial streak that touches multiple aspects of business, and of course, found a beautiful and loving wife. Be sure to prep me about Shane before we met. I felt good about him from the start when she said he's from Pittsburgh until she ended her statement saying he went to Penn State. Danielle, you are beautiful today as you were the first day I saw you in your mother's arms. I will always be fortunate to be called your father. I will miss being your travel buddy, but I will always remember our trip to Ireland where we visited St. Anne's Church, the place your great, 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 great grandfather William and grandmother Mary were married. But now you have a new travel partner in Shane. My advice to both of you is to love each other with all your hearts through the good times like tonight and the debates that will come along the way. Enjoy your time with your friends and family as the years go by quick, but make sure you leave time to continue getting to know each other and strengthen that love over the years. Remember, a successful marriage requires falling in love many times always with the same person. I see you in the morning, in the golden light. Danielle, it's going to be tough not being the number one man in your life, but I am now know I'm leaving you in good hands with Shane.
Brothers and sisters, for this first time, I have the great privilege to announce to you Mr. and Mrs. Shane and Danielle McMurtry.